So I know that you all have a grade that four months in that you would give President Trump. So three, two, one. A plus, A minus, B minus, A minus, B minus, C. Okay, so Brooke, you gave him the lowest grade. And I know that at one time you considered yourself a diehard Trump supporter. So why today a C? It really comes down to his character. Honestly, the straw that broke the camel's back for me was his tweets. Now, Donald Trump tweeted a lot during the campaign. I liked how he was calling people out, you know, draining the swamp. Well, what bothers you about his tweets now? The name calling, the belittling, the, you know, I teach my children not to say these, the thing, or these things to people. And yeah, he's a grown man just bullying all these people, whether they're right or wrong. That's not how you approach a situation when you're president of the United States, in my opinion. And show of hands, how many people are bothered by his tweets? Mm. So yeah. three of you are, bo are bothered by his tweets. But three what of we you love about him is he is not a politician. What we hate about him, he's not a politician. <laughs> Dennis, you gave President Trump an A. Yes, is there plus. anything, an A plus? <laughs> is there anything in the past four months <clears throat> that has given you pause about this presidency? I think because I'm in that 70 year age bracket, that I have a little more understanding of somebody just being real because I want people who are real. No matter what anybody says, I think he's more truthful than most people I've heard running the campaign. But what about but, some of the things that he has clearly changed his tune on? What about some of the things where he said, China is a currency manipulator, no they're not. NATO is obsolete, no it's no longer obsolete. He said during the campaign, I will save Medicare, I will save Medicaid, Social Security without cuts. The budget was just released. There are cuts. We learn as we go. He's going to make mistakes. And he's also going to say something. You know, when you're put on the spot, like I am right now, I might say something that's not exactly what I wanted to say later, you know? But you're not president. No, it's just he's not perfect. So you give him a B minus, David. Yeah. And what was the moment that started to turn for you from an A to now a B minus? Health care reform. I'm big on health care. I think Obamacare is definitely the wrong path because, uh, I know from personal experience, I had to pay the mandates every year at tax time, either that or face a penalty. You felt that President Trump could have gone further with health care. Um, I think that he could have really sat them down a little more. I think it was a little rushed. Judy, explain your grade. Well, uh, it's hard to be an A+. Plus. I don't think anybody's perfect right out the gate. And uh, the health care now that we have, and that's, that's very uh, big to me. I work in health care, and I've worked in health care for uh, almost a couple so of So are you decades. pleased with how President Trump has handled it thus far? Uh, it was too soon. He pushed the first uh, bill too, too soon. I believe that it's the inexperience. He's not a politician. So, Jamie, you gave him an A. I gave him an A minus. There are some things that I'm not happy with. One of them happens to be some of the verbiage he uses. Such as? Um, when he calls people, what was he said to the, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, little Marco, but that was during the Well, campaign. I mean, he, call, he just called James Comey a yes. nut job. A nut job, yes. And that, did, that was not... That rubbed you the wrong way? I didn't think it was very professional. Rourke, explain your grade to us. Uh, B minus is what I gave him. Uh, going into it, I was very supportive, but reality sets in and you start seeing the drawbacks. You start seeing the tweeting, which I hope would stop, and really just... As it boils down, I really thought he'd get out of his own way. That's, what drawbacks? Uh, drawbacks such as reality, like you mentioned, Medicaid, $800 billion cut. When he was on the campaign trail, he said he wouldn't do that. And basically, as it, as it happens, I was really hoping for more assertive leadership. That's interesting. I don't often hear people say that President Trump is <laughs> oh. aggressive <laughs> enough. Uh, what, can you give me us an example? Well, I mean, the tweeting, uh, a news channel will say something negative about him, then he'll light up the Twitter. I would have thought a president would have a bit more uh, diplomacy. What I want to do, you can't see it, but it's on, uh, I don't know if they can draw it, but all the accomplishments of Donald Trump yep. in four months. What Come are the big ones? All. Well, one of the big ones is protecting my religious freedom, my, my voice to be able to speak. Speak about your Christianity before four months? I didn't let it bother me, but when they start taking the rights of religious groups away from them, based on their talking about their faith or something? Are you kidding me? I give Islam the freedom. I give Hindu the freedom. I give an atheist the freedom. So for God's sake, give me as a Christian the freedom. But let's just remember, it was President Trump, then candidate, 
who yeah. said that he was calling for a full and complete and total Muslim ban yeah. until we can figure out what the hell is going on. Until we can, can figure, figure out. out. Have we figured it out? Well, I think he's I learning that maybe that was a hardcore position that he needed to lighten up a little bit. Brooke, you are a stay-at-home mom? Correct. What are you hoping for from President Trump's administration that could help you? You know, there's many people in my life that struggle with addiction or have addiction, and mm -hmm. it's absolutely heartbreaking. And for you to say you're going to do something about it, and then you, you haven't really done anything to do, it makes me question a lot of everything else that he said. Because you don't think that President Trump has done enough to combat addiction at this point? Absolutely not. Children are losing their parents to drugs. They're being raised by their grandparents. I was raised by my grandparents. Because of addiction? Yes. And... It's just so personal to me. What were you hoping President Trump would do at this point? If you're saying you're going to help people with addiction, do you really think that these people have high-quality jobs that offer great insurance to be able to cover their stay to be out of work, to go to rehab? Absolutely not. If anything, you're creating a bigger roadblock for these people to get help that need it.